Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love, as well as who you might be dealing with, what you need to know about the energies between you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching. And let's jump right into your reading for Scorpio. Messages, please, guidance for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Spirit about past, present, future energies in love. Scorpio need to know spirit regarding love. Okay. Past energies. Wow, the wheel of fortune. Present energies, temperance, Sagittarius energy there. Wow. Near future energy, ten of swords. Interesting. Something's coming together right now. Something is being balanced out for you, and it started with this wheel. However, I see there's going to be some sort of ending because of all of that's happening here. And uh, Scorpio, this is your energy as well as whatever energies um, you're dealing with in regards to another person because this is what's happening for you in love. So feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. But I feel like I'm speaking to a Scorpio where change is happening and leading to a potential ending here. On your side, we have the lovers, Gemini energy with the page of swords. Wow. Talking to a partner, talking about a partnership, making a decision here based on logic. We'll see what this is about. On your person's side, we have the chariot, cancer energy. And the star, wow, Aquarius energy. Look at all this major arcana. It's re ridiculous, actually, how many we have here. Major shifts in energy. Yeah, things are definitely changing here, Scorpio. I feel like it's your person having the major, like, changes here. Because they have the chariot and the star. So it's almost like whatever, wherever they're headed towards, they're hoping for things to be, you know, for that to be the right answer. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords. So someone's really anxious, worried about what's happening here, what's going on. Let's get some energy vocals. Tell me more, Spirit, about what's going on here for Scorpio. If I could shuffle, that would be great. Regarding love, what does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio need to know regarding love. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. And then we have victory lap, success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. So I feel like there's existing bonds here, attachments that someone's kind of influenced by. Bottom of the deck is patiently waiting, waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. Hmm. I don't. I think whatever's happening here, it's not happening quickly, but there are definitely things in motion already. So let's get some insight to what the heck is going on here for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Guidance, clarity, please. For Scorpio. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Maybe someone's scared, anxious overwhelmed by a conversation by saying something by a truth talking about the future talking about an ending and a new beginning the world is all about endings and beginnings tell me about the nine of swords justice libra energy so i feel whatever's happening here it's 
someone's worried about perhaps ending a cycle, beginning a new cycle, even though that's the right thing to do. Page of Wands, yeah, and the Six of Swords. So this is about the departure itself, the change that someone's making. And it could be your person here, Scorpio, because again, they have the chariot. Tell me about the wheel. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Three of wands. Tell me about the wheel. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Someone could be taking some time here to, yeah, to make this happen. Four of swords and the four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone was dragging their feet. The, the hangman's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like someone was dragging their feet, holding back, not wanting to actually make this move, make this change. Um, I feel like with the wheel of fortune, though, like things are moving no matter what. Um, things are coming together. Wow, Ace of Cups after that, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's an exchange here. Someone needs to make an exchange. The old and the new cannot coexist. You have to let one go for the other. And it could be that someone was also slowed down by outside factors, or someone was probably waiting for the right time to make this move. Tell me about Temperance. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about temperance. Everything here is slow. Yeah, and then the Knight of Wands. So interesting. Those are opposite knights. Two of Swords. Yeah, undecided. And then the High Priestess. So I feel like what's happening here is that someone was just kind of scared to take action. Someone was scared to do what they needed to do, basically and probably undecided as well as to how to have this opportunity how to make this happen you know what's the best course of action um all of this is leading to an ending so if someone was dragging their feet trying to avoid an ending it's going to happen if someone was waiting for the right time to cause to have an ending it's it's happening in that way um and it's all because of this wheel What's this Ten of Swords about? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yep, Ace of Wands. An ending in order to have a new beginning. One door closes and another one opens. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm telling you, the Wheel of Fortune is what caused all of this to happen yeah six of wands someone doesn't have there shouldn't be um fear because there is success this is meant to happen the way that it's happening you know the the wheel is turning has been turning and even though someone's scared this is what the right thing to do is this is what is meant to happen can we get some more insight for scorpio regarding the energies for them in love. Some insight, please, for Scorpio. Regarding love. Message of concern. Yeah, it's like someone's um, worried about communicating the fact that this is going to happen, that they're making a change, that they're ending something. Wealthy man, maybe someone's... A masculine energy is concerned about finances. This could also be that someone's worried that the message won't be received well. Like maybe Scorpio, you were waiting for someone to tell you that something was already done, over and done with, and you know they need a little bit more time. Bottom of the deck, the lovers and bad health, false person. Okay, so there's something going on here that hasn't shown itself in the cards yet another person perhaps um yeah i feel like i don't know if it's not your connection with this person then another connection has been going through a lot it's been a difficult connection a difficult situation so let's jump down here to your energies Scorpio, I have you on the left and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Let's 
Spirit, can I get some insight, some guidance on the energies here for Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio's energy. Tell me about Scorpio's energies, please. Turtle. So the turtle has is very adaptable, and the turtle is like on a journey. Um, it's like the traveler. Tell me about the, the person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? The swan. Well, the swan's creative, um, expressive, sensitive in a way. And the bear, the bear at the bottom of the deck is all about a new beginning. This person I feel is creating a new beginning for themselves. That's why the chariot is here. They're making a certain move in their life. For some reason, this has to do with you, Scorpio. Tell me about the lovers and the page of swords. Why is the lovers here with the page of swords? Ten of wands. This is your energy, Scorpio. Page of cups. The lovers, page of swords, the moon and the devil. Wow. Okay. Pisces energy with the moon, the devil, Capricorn energy. I feel like you need to talk to this other person. Page of cups. There could be an apology expression of, of you know, you know, an apology for something. It's almost like you need to clear the air with this person, with the moon, the page of swords. Ten of Wands and the Devil. I feel like there's some sort of baggage and attachment and unhealthy attachment. Some sort of difficulty that has weighed down this connection. And it could be anything. But I feel like you, you need to talk about it. You need clarity about it. Can I get one more for this page of Swords, please? Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, seven of cups, the chariot, and the nine of cups. I think you're going to be happy to hear this person's response. Um, cancer energy with the chariot. I think you were hope, not hoping, waiting for this person to make the choice that they have made, Scorpio. Tell me about the chariot and the star. Tell me about the chariot and the star. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the chariot and the star. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person's choosing a path. They're not going to have a lot to offer you, probably because they just ended something else or left, you know, a, a specific place. Maybe they moved to a whole different new place or started a new job or something. Tell me about the chariot and the star. Nine of wands. Yeah, this person's like, they've been through a lot. Tell me about the chariot and the star. King of pentacles and then the ten of swords. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The ten of swords. They're the ones that ended something. Seven of swords here at the bottom of the deck and the lovers, Gemini energy. I think they ended something to be with you. And I think that they're going to probably be seen as the bad guy or they probably had to like sneak away or do things that maybe don't, you know, they're not so proud of because maybe they left someone else. Maybe they left a specific um, place and maybe they left a job on bad terms or something. I mean, whatever it was, though, I think this person's hopeful for the future, hopeful for a change that could be happening here. Uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I think I already said that. They tend to take their time doing things. They they like to do things the right way. So, you know, it's kind of interesting that they've gone about things in a Seven of Swords way, you know. Tell me more about this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. me about this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. 
Okay, this person also is going to need to heal from whatever situation they have ended because the Ten of Swords is difficult ending. They're difficult endings. I miss you and I'm torn. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. So this person might ask for forgiveness. Maybe they took a long time to get to you. Um, this I'm torn energy, I feel like it's almost like a bittersweet energy I'm picking up here. Like they knew they had to leave their situation, but maybe they feel guilty about leaving their situation. Um, maybe they knew that that was the right thing to do, but others, other people might not understand. I also get the energy here of someone that they were maybe torn by two different people or, you know, it's almost like they couldn't please everybody. Can we get some more insight into this connection for Scorpio spirit? What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio? And this other person. What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio and this other person? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. What else for Scorpio? I mean, I see that with the lovers. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Interesting. I think that you and this person had like a pause in your connection. Yeah, but your feelings are still there. Romantic feelings, keep an open mind, and bottom of the deck, soulmate. So I think what happened here is that there was like a pause, a lull in this connection. I think this is probably like a soulmate that you probably had a lot of chemistry with back in the day or in the past and maybe it never really took off or maybe feelings weren't reciprocated or commitment was not reciprocated. But I feel like even though you separated or walked away from each other, you still thought about each other, you still care about each other. And I think over time, because I feel like time has passed here with retreat, I think you've both grown, changed, um, and I think that now this person um, has ended a situation or is coming out of an ending, coming out of a difficult um, attachment perhaps, and it's allowing you to meet again or be together again. Let's see, let me get one more. Can I get some more energies, please, for Scorpio and this other person? What do we need to know about the energies in this connection spirit between Scorpio and this other person? What do we need to know about the energies between Scorpio and this other person? Looking inward, okay. I think you you guys have both, you and this person, Scorpio, you haven't stopped thinking about the other hidden feelings. Yeah, you just kept your feelings buried, but they were always there. Can I get one more? Yeah, coming together. Destiny has brought you together. You, you were literally reconnecting with someone that your feelings never changed, and um, we have reach out at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're going to be reconnecting. Um, and this person might ask for forgiveness, you know. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it resonated for you. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Um, that way you can see more videos from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.